Welcome back. Pressure is the driving force for weather phenomena, but pressure gradient force causes the wind to blow. And with the high wind that we've been experiencing, I thought it would be the perfect time to bring back our friend meteorologist Jason Laney from the National Weather Service so that we can talk about pressure gradient. Jason, it's been a long time. Great to have you back. Yeah, it has. And, and, and you really stressed me on this one when you said you <laughs> wanted to talk about it because the weather has been stressful the last few days. It really has. You talked about how strong those winds have been out there. We've been getting questions left and right. So why is it so windy so early? It's mm -hmm. not springtime yet. We're still in winter there. Has this ever happened before? So did a little research and we went back and looked over the last 15 years. Would you believe that we have had 20 high wind events in January and February during the last 15 years? That seems kind of early. That's very early. Here's the catch. <laughs> Here's what we've noticed. They've all been following a La Nina winter. So maybe Ooh. we always talk about how La Nina can influence our winter precipitation, El Nino. It might have something to do with all the big winds we've had out there. Good news is La Nina is going away. So maybe next year we'll have winter instead of spring so early. I wish that would be great. But today but let's we kind deal of with recap it. the high winds that we have been seeing for the past several weeks. Well, this past weekend, El Paso International Airport and Las Cruces had wind gusts up to 71 miles per hour. Now, we do have some video that we can show you of the high winds that we did see. You can see from this video, we had uprooted trees, even down power lines, and of course, some property damage. So again, we brought Jason Laney on board because it has been so windy and we have a little experiment. We do. So you mentioned the words pressure gradient force. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into the science, but that basically says that air moves from high pressure to low pressure. And if it's a big difference between the high and low, the force is greater and the wind's going to go faster, maybe 71 miles an hour. So what I've done is I've put a balloon inside the bottle here. Okay. Now air is a very powerful thing. You may not believe it. Now you've got a good set of lungs on you. I hear you talk every day I for do. hours and hours and I do <laughs> the same thing. So we're going to have a race. What I want to do, it's pretty simple. We've inverted a balloon in our bottle okay. and we're going to blow. We're going to race and see who can inflate their okay. balloon Cheers. the fastest. Cheers. Ready? Let's go. One. Two, wait, don't get that. Get to three. One, <laughs> two, get ready. Three. It's not working for me. It's not working. I think I may have lost this one. No, you know why it's not working? Okay, I cheated. Why? What? I cheated. It was a setup. And it was a setup indeed because there's air inside that bottle and air, it can't be displaced. No matter how hard you blow, you're not going to inflate that balloon. I cut a little slit in the bottom of my bottle before I got I here today. I did. <laughs> so let's show pressure gradient force at its greatest. Blow up your balloon, but don't tie it off. Okay. Okay, good enough. Now, high pressure, much more pressure inside, more dense air than outside in the studio. When we release, you know what's going to happen to that air? It's going to go from high pressure to all around us low pressure. All right. It's going to escape, and if it's, if it's a big difference, it's going to go with force. Are you ready? I'm ready. Pressure gradient force on three. One, two, three. There you have it. Simple way to say why it's been so windy. We're going to get windy again in a couple of days, probably even starting this week. But oh uh, at least for now, a little bit of a break to kind of clean up. Yeah, a little bit of a break. Jason, always a pleasure to have you on the show. And he set me up. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.